Hi, this is Tim Schrock from Design Build Solutions. Today's tip is so long I had to split it into two parts. One part I'll share with you today and part two next week. If you would like early access, click on the link down in the description and that will send you to my website where if you give me your email address, I'll give you early access to part two before next week. Thanks so much for watching. Here's the video. Hi there, this is Tim Schrock from Design Build Solutions. On today's Tech Tip Tuesday, I wanna show you how to make curved arch brick look like this in Chief Architect. Stick around. So yes, today we have this uh, 3D model and as you know, Chief Architect does not do textures very well on curved uh, surfaces. It likes, it likes X and Y mostly, right? Um, I have a, a uh, Google Maps street view of the building, and this is the way it should look, not, not, like, not like this in the X and Y version. But um, we're going to make it look like this today. Now, I have counted, uh, believe me, I've counted every single one of these. It's, it doesn't take that long. Uh, 42 whole bricks plus the half on the right and half on the left. Uh, and that's how we're going to draw it. Okay, so let's go back to this. And my idea is basically that I'm going to have to draw each of those 42 bricks uh, in those three courses, or, or you know, half a course, full course, half a course, and, um, and then I'm going to mirror it over the. I'm going to I'm going to draw on one half on one side. I'm going to mirror that uh, about the about this uh, keystone here, and do the other side, and then we'll copy that down the arches. All right, so let's get started here. So what I'm gonna do is take a back clipped cross section because I don't need the whole facade of the building. I just need the one arch, right? And we're gonna zoom in on the arch here. So what I'm going to do, let's make sure that we have these keystones and uh, such are proud of the surface. Yes, they are. Excellent. There we go. I'm going to lock the door um, layer because I don't want to keep selecting that door. I just want to select that architectural block for now. Um, I'm going to explode this block. And now I have individual control of the keystones and the brick. Let's go back to the screen, the street view. And here's the thing is we, we probably know that that bottom is, the bottom uh, right is also brick and it probably also has the um, half, whole half, or maybe, maybe it's two whole ones um, courses on the bottom of the arch. Uh, I'm not going to go into that much detail. It's not required for this, um, this exercise. So let's paint this brick texture the color of the um, stucco, and that's going to be our grout. And then I want to find the center of this arch. And in order to do that, I'm going to turn on centers, arc centers and ends. On my uh, toolbar, I've got it set up as a, as a, um, a, a key, you know, a button right here. Uh, oh, there you see, I counted 42, yes. Here's the button for the uh, arcs, centers and ends. And when I turn, it's a toggle switch, so when I turn that on, now we, we're going to see, there it is. OK, 
Okay, I'm going to turn off my angle snaps. Let's make sure our arcs are the same, start with the same center, right? So let, how do we, how am I going to do that? I can do that by drawing from the center here. And again, from the center to this edge. And so by doing that, then I'm going to create a temporary, um, temporary place point at the center of the arc. We can select this arc here and I'm going to turn on um, I thought I could is that just in this ah. I don't have it in elevation that's why okay so I'm going to right click on my toolbars and customize toolbars. And we're gonna drag that over into plan view as well. Okay, so I'm gonna rotate resize this about the current point of, of uh, which is the, the temporary point marker that I place, placed at the center of this arc and we're going to rotate that. Uh, no, nope, not like that. We're going to rotate with this handle. And it is not the same uh, center. So let's do this. We actually want this to be. OK, so I see what's going on. I want to, I'm going to delete these. I'm going to take this arc and put it right on the top of this horizontal brick line. That's where I want that to end up at. Now, I'm going to delete this arc and make an arc with the top one in mind. go now from the center of this arc which is right here I'm going to um, select this draw a line from the center to the to the inside edge and we'll rotate this about and that actually looks pretty doggone close to already there We'll just make sure it is. And now they're on the same centers. The, the two arcs are concentric, and they're on the same center. Let's undo that, because I still need that center. I deleted too soon. Gonna save this puppy. And then we're going to draw another line here. And let's get this angle. So let's make this a or let's do degrees. There we go. That's what I want. I just want degrees. There we go, decimal angle, yes. Let's make it 26.4, rotate just that edge. Let's make it 26 degrees, that'll be easier.
place my temporary point again, and we're going to make that 26 degree um, pie shape, if you will, be where I want it on the left and the right. Now, let's um, draw our, our another arc here. And in this case, what I want is I want to draw the arc not as a um, start end on arc. And that means I'm going, the first click is going to be the start of my arc, the second click is the end of my arc, and then I'm going to tell it where to be on arc. I want it to be uh, arc about center. I could also do, cent yes, that's what I want, center, radius, end arc. So I'm going to do center, radius, on arc. Here's the center. My first click I'm going to drag. And that's uh, click drag. There we go. By using my concentric tool, I can drag this, which I'm, I'm using concentric by, by holding the C key on my keyboard. Um, I can drag these and have that center remain where it needs to be, right? And then I'm gonna hit the S key so that I don't um, connect to any snaps. Now I want this to be eight inches away, right? There we go. Now 26 degrees divided by 42, um, quick, what is that, what is that? So I got 0.619 degrees per brick. Is that right? Close enough, right? So I'm gonna draw a line I'm actually going to take this arc like that. I'm going to draw a line here. And then I'm going to, nope, not that one. Transform replicate, copy 42 times, actually 43 times. I'm going to rotate that about the current point, point 0.619. Yes, 0.619 degrees as a relative angle. So 43 of these lines. Uh, wrong direction. So let's undo that. I could actually just rotate these. Yes, because I have the current point on. And you see what I'm going at, right? So I'm, I'm going to cancel that and undo. Um, let's do my transform replicate 42.619 minus 0.619 because right I'm going in a clockwise direction and so that's a minus number instead of a positive. Zero starts at you know to your right, x is to the right. So uh, we're going to do a negative angle. And there's our bricks. That's fantastic. Phew, that's a lot of work just getting it set up and ready to build the, build the bricks around this arch. Um, I'm going to pause here, and next time we'll pick it up with building the bricks and uh, creating that all the way around the arc. Um, hang on. We'll get back to it. Thanks so much for watching. This is Tim Schrock from Design Build Solutions with today's Tech Tip Tuesday. If you learned something new today in just building the um, planning out how many bricks go around um, there, please 
leave me a, a like, a thumbs up, click the subscribe button, and, uh, and the notification bell so that you get notified each week that I upload these videos. Thanks so much for watching. Have a wonderful week. Thank you.